Hi guys, um, I've seen this, this uh, pattern of earrings and uh, I wanted to try them, so I'm gonna show you how I made it. It's very easy to make. It has um, four rows, they look, they look super cute. Um, now the materials, uh, you will need um, loop, I'm using this type. So if you have the one with already with the um, thingy to put in the ear, then you don't need this. But I'm using this type, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna need this as well for the first row for the um, the one that goes directly on the loop. You will need I'm using toho beads. You can use delic or toho something that's a little bit straight, so like squarey, not uh, with round edges. And afterwards, I'm using um, I'm using this type. Let me show you some. They're like this. I don't know if you can see them. They're simple seed beads. They're not too hot. They're just normal seed beads. And um, on the last uh, last row, again, I'm using the uh, seed beads, just golden. Of course, you will need a uh, needle. Thread, I'm using um, this thread, which is, uh, it looks pretty decent on the, on the loop, you can see it here. So, this is how uh, our project is going to look. Okay, so let's get started. So, first you take the empty loop. You need to have a um, needle with thread already on it and on the edge or anywhere not necessarily on the edge anywhere you can do it because you can pull it uh, you can pull it over you have to do a um, knot I'm gonna make a double knot so it's Secure, and I'm just going to push this directly on the edge. Okay, now to start our first row, I need to move my beads on the side a little bit. I'm going to start just with the the toho beads, the one that are a little bit squarey. <coughs> I'm gonna take two beads. I'm gonna pull them down. To my uh, loop like this now I'm going to put the needle under the loop and pull all the thread like this now I'm going to go with the needle through this one and hold and pull the, the thread and move it on the side you have to be a little bit this row you have to uh, not let it very loose like a little bit uh, more strength i'm going to go through the first one and pull the thread and again through the second one and slowly pull the thread and move them a little bit on the edge and secure them like this so this is the only row that you actually have to uh, pull a little bit from for the thread now I'm taking another bead and this is how I do it I put I put like this and I'm holding it with this with my thumb I'm holding the bead while I will pull the thread so the thread has to go under under the like in the loop so it has to be uh, under it now I'm going to go with the needle through the bead 
and I pull and again they move a little bit but it's okay because we move them back and pull so now I have three and again I'm taking a bead I'm going to put it like this this is like a brick stitch but you just have to do it around the loop so I'm going to put it like this hold like it's like this I'm going to hold the oh, sorry I'm going to hold the bead and pull the thread slowly so we don't get any tangles and now I am here and I'm going to go with the needle from under I'm gonna do a few more so it's um, obvious what I do if if your uh, beads move a little bit it's okay you can just move them back because when you're gonna be here they won't have any space to wiggle around so I'm holding my work I'm picking up a bead I'm pulling the bead down you can do that as well you pull the bead down like this now when your bead is down you hold it with your thumb so it doesn't so it doesn't move you hold it now the needle you put it in the loop inside the ring you pull the thread all the thread in the ring like this so the thread is in now you put you put it here so you can hold it and you pass with the needle through the bead I'm gonna do it one more time and I'm gonna and then you can do it as you have to do this all all around the circle so again pick up a bead pull the bead down go with the needle inside the loop pull the thread you can do it even like this now go with the uh, needle where the thread is coming out so the thread is coming out here you go in here because the, the thread is already in the uh, loop so you just do like this and you pull the thread So you have to do it like this all the way around. And as I said, you you can uh, once it's full, the beads won't wiggle around that much. So we will come back when we have it all around. I have my first row finished. This is how it looks. Just make sure that uh, you have beads all over and uh, that there's not gaps there aren't uh, gaps in between so you have to work a little bit uh, tight not so not so loose uh, this is the first row now we have to start the second row uh, on the second row i worked uh, as well tight not loose yet uh, so it does uh, so my row beads don't um, wibble around now we start our second row from now it's very easy you will see that the first row consumed a lot of thread because you had to uh, put around the loop the metal loop but now uh, it's not gonna use so much thread now we finished i finished here and i'm going to take one uh turquoise bead one to hold it and one um this shiny bead and I'm going to go with the needle in between you know how it's better visible in between the first and the second Here. I'm going to slowly pull the thread till they get nicely arranged down and I'm going to go with the needle through the shiny one and I'm going to pull 
perfect and as i said i worked this a little bit more tight so i pulled a little bit harder Mirroring my page now i'm going to take another uh, made to light turquoise bead and i'm gonna do like normal brick stitch between the uh, second and the third and i'm going to pull the thread and i'm gonna go with my needle And I pull a little bit harder. Now again a shiny one going in the thread from between the third and the fourth. And again I'm going to put like this and pull a little bit harder. So now we have this. And again, one light turquoise. So here, this row is a simple brick stitch, just a little bit, um, not very much tension, but uh, a little bit of tension. So you see now they're still wiggling around. Now, if this is a little bit uh, more tension put in it, then they it won't be wiggling around. So this row is just like this, simple one light one shiny one light one shiny one light one shiny and you do this all the way around i'm gonna do one more and then uh, you can do it on your own so this time i'm taking one shiny i'm going to pass it through the next next uh, thread and then i'm going to go with the needle under and I'm going to pull. So this is what you have to do all the way around. Okay, so I finished the second row. And if you did uh, the same, this is what you should have. Now we're going to start the third row. On the third row, I'm only going to use the shiny um, turquoise beads. Now I'm going to take two beads and place them in the second thread here. Now I'm going to go with the thread under the second bead. Now again under or oh, on top of the first and under the second <clears throat> this way it will um, sit nicely down now unlike the first and the second row where we had to use a little bit of tension on uh, this row we don't have to so you can work loosely just a normal brick stitch so I'm going to take my third bead and I'm going to, I don't know how good you can see, through here. And loosely, like you don't have to go very tight because um, how the circle will go, then you will have to, um, it will be much more tension. So with this row you can uh, work it. Uh, a little bit more loose not super loose just the normal amount so just the shiny beads all the way around and this is the uh, third row and we will be back when uh, and I'm going to be done with this okay so I finished my third row your work should look, look like this you shouldn't have problems uh, with it being wobbly or anything if your first row and your second row you made them a little bit tighter the third row can be a little bit more loose now for the last last row and the fourth 
I'm going to pick up three golden beads and I'm going to go through the first thread. And they should align themselves like this. And I'm going to go with the needle up on the uh, on the one that I'm sitting here. And I'm going to pull the thread. And it should look like this. Now I'm going to take two beads, two golden beads. And I'm going to go through the second, second uh, part, like this. And it should line up like this. Now I go with the thread through this one. And we pull slowly. And then show again. We pick up two golden beads and we go through this to the next thread. It's like doing a, a brick stitch, but instead of one bead, you take two so that the second one will stay up. Again, you take two gold beads, you go through the next, and you go through this. Again, two golden beads, you go through the next. And pass so you will see like when you pull them down you will see which one uh, sits nicely and you go with the needle under that one if they're a little bit spread apart you just wobble them around and put them into place and that's it after you finish with this row you should uh, you should have you should have it look like this and if you don't if you have a loop like mine then you put on your uh, your uh, ear thingy if no if you have the loop that already has then you don't have to and that's it hopefully it's understandable if you don't understand please comment and if you like my content don't forget to subscribe and have fun